Welcome back to the boys only run of three houses. So today we are going to take on the mock battle. No, not support. We're going to take on the mock battle with these guys right here. Um, so in this one we have to fight the golden deer and the black eagles, the house I didn't choose. And I like to do this the safe way. Um, just to take on these three, then go around here, be a cannonman, and then get the eagles characters. I know a lot of strategies just involve like going around these woods, but we're just going to do the, the safe one. Um, the last time I said I wasn't going to really min-max anything, well, not min-max really, so much as build up units. Not the best at that, but there are some units I want to build up here. Um, let's get started with this just right away. Let's go ahead and fight. I've already made the preparations. I've moved the items from everyone else onto these guys, so they have it's a bit more weapons. Okay, oh. thank you, Dimitri. I'm sure you already understand. Incidentally. Okay. Yeah, so this is a really cool mechanic. We are basically going back to casual mode. It's not that big of a deal, though. Um, I actually think this makes it really interesting of a chapter because um, you can kind of use the guys who aren't your lord and Byleth's expendables, kind of like FE6 Merlinus. But here we have our units, and so whenever I said I wanted to make the best of some units, I was talking about this guy right here. So, I'm gonna get the fangirling out of the way right now. Um, Ash is my favorite character in Three Houses. I know he's considered bad. I know he struggles a bit in the um, strength department. I'm gonna have him go through the brigand line and then to Wyvern. Um, but I'll talk about him as time goes on. But <laughs> look at him. He's so precious. Oh my god, he's baby. His little animation whenever you're um, going over the students in the monastery too is pretty cute. But yeah, Ash, I am a huge fangirl of him, and I will probably fangirl one other unit who will be getting later. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started and see if we can aggro our good friend Lorenz here. Now, this game doesn't have a weapon triangle, so I don't have to worry about Phyleth with that sword. And we're going to do a bit of a risky strat right now, so... Now in a practice run I put Dimitri in her range and I believe she has like a very high crit chance on him. So I think I'm just gonna keep him out actually. I don't want to go down to a 7% crit. Could have you go for Felix. A 7% crit immediately. And then Dudu is here. Now Dudu is an interesting unit in this game. He kind of has a bit of a leave of absence. Okay, you're going for Ash. He has a bit of a leave of absence, so some players might consider him, I guess, lower tier, not the best. I'm going to try and use him a little bit here. I have an idea of what I do want to do with him, um, but yeah, that'll happen whenever it comes on. And we have Ignatz moving in. Now let's see, how's the Matri do against you? One off. Felix might be able to run around one round Ignatz. Okay. Yeah, it really doesn't matter here. It's only hard mode. It's not that difficult. I think what I'm gonna do is go for... Actually, can Felix take on you? He, he can. Let's just go for this. I am very capable. Thank you, Dorothea. Oh, by the way, I am gonna recruit the female students. I'm just not gonna use them. Because if you don't recruit some people, they may or may not, um, actually we can go for a bow. They may or may not, um, well, I know a few, um, like in the case of Lorenz, he may become an enemy layer and you might have to hurt him, but we'll definitely not do that in this playthrough. Yeah, so as you can see by, and that's perfect. As you can see by the weapons Ash has, I have, um, like Sylvain's Lance on him. I think it'll be fun. Ignots. I have a lance on him, just keeping our weapons moving them around, so let's see what we can do here. We'll just go for the Iron Sword. Yeah, since not everyone can participate in this chapter annoyingly enough, we have to shuffle our items around, but I'll take care of all that prep stuff um, off screen. Probably will prioritize someone who can't counter. And hello, Claude and Hilda. Yeah. Felix, of course, is one of the better units on blue lines. I'm not really worried about him getting too much experience. Maybe we should give this to Dudu? Hmm. 
All right, let's go for it. I've lost. Cyanic not thank you. Okay. Um, so at this point, I know a lot of people go up here. I'm just gonna go the safe strat. The boring safe strat. Heat up vulnerabilities. Perfect. I think in my initial playthrough of this, I brought Mercedes here to help heal us, but obviously I can't use her here. Let's use the forest to set up. Okay, Claude, thank you. If they're waiting in. I think the idea right here, at least in Maddening, is to separate Claude from Hilda. So let's go ahead and get to doing that. I think Ash can also take a shot with Curve Shot. Of course, being the early game, our movement range is not fun at all. I feel like we're all a team of armor knights just getting through this field. That's not the best hit rate, but we can go for it. And boss music. Now, where can Hilda go that Claude can't? Kinda wish I had Shove right now. Uh, I want to progress this further, but I think I'll wait one more turn until- Oh, here he comes! Okay. Let's turn off Hilda. Mm -hmm. Take a poke at her here. And Felix. Mm. Let's see, she does quite a lot, but she has a lot of accuracy. Let's go for Byla first, I guess. And he's just gonna kill her. And regain his HP. As yes, Hilda, it was. I'm sorry. Pink pigtails. Speaking of which, um, I did consider at one point, maybe not alongside this playthrough, but doing an all-girls run of this, but I'm kind of torn because I would have to obviously choose Edelgard, but then I'd be stuck between the choice of Church or um, Crimson Flower route, and with Crimson Flower I couldn't get Hilda or Flame. And you didn't even move. Claude, what are you doing? <laughs> I love Claude as a character. Hmm. I keep picking at you with Ash. Okay, pretty good. And who do we want to give this kill to? How about you, Felix? Felix, of course, will be used extensively in the playthrough. Now, um, Felix is a character that I often have trouble deciding where he wants to end up in the, like, late game. Um, because obviously he kind of, like, screams <laughs> making a sword master, but there aren't too many... There aren't too many, like, um, mastery classes that... I'll just throw her up. Not too many mastery classes that really complement some units. Like, I know a lot of people like putting... Um, Dimitri here into the cavalry line, but then what do you do from then? Because a lot of people don't really like Great Knight. Although I did look up some builds the other day, and apparently making him into a Bow Knight is actually favorable, so I might try that. I've actually never done that, and I am really open to doing, um, going through paths that I never have before. At least with character promotion. 1% mm, crit rate. Hmm. I don't really want- Byleth will probably just kill you. <laughs> okay, and we get our HP plus 5. Yeah, trying to get everyone to level 3, I believe. Kind of like, um, reminds me a bit of in Shadows of Valencia when you have to get your units up to promote your villagers. Okay, I think Manuel's team is moving out. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit the the heal tile. I don't want Ash falling too far behind here. I do want to get him some experience. Well, we separated you from the deer, so you will be a lot less scary. And I think Manuela stays put. I'm fairly positive she does, actually, here. Okay, and this guy is on the loose, who we are going to use eventually. We'll learn his name, I'm sure, in time. Careful now. 
Now, I don't think any of us can actually get into Freddy's range. Hmm. Yeah, we can't get into Freddy's range. Maybe we should just let him come to us. That way we can all like stay as a group together. And we'll just pull Nerari up. Just moving up a little bit here. Luckily for us, they have the same movement problem. Okay, I don't think Edelgard is even close to being near us. Okay. Now, um, Dudu, I'm pretty sure, gets hit like a truck by Hubie here. Hubie, sadly, being locked to Edelgard's team, we can't use our favorite little non-female Dark Mage. Okay, we can bow Ferdinand. Let's go ahead and shoot you with a bow. And we can go ahead and use our combat art. Curve shot. This combat art, by the way, I found it to be amazing in maddening mode. I used it to heckin' back on Ignots. Just not taking counterattacks on that is just extremely helpful. It's kind of like reminds me of the Archer class in um, Awakening, where they kind of benefit on the higher difficulties because they don't have to ever take counters from the, well, counters from the counter warriors, basically is what I meant to say. So range, of course, as usual in, like, every Fire Emblem game is good, and being locked to run one range is a pain. Um, let's see now. I think I'll go ahead and trade over... Hmm, let's trade over the sword back to you, and I'm going to... Heal up again, but we sure are going through our vulnerary collection. I think I'll keep the dude back for a bit. I just don't want him getting hit in the face with magic. He doesn't like that. Okay, 1% crit. Huber, of course, should be a little bit more frail being a mage. He is a good candidate to go with the Dark Knight class. I believe you get that seal whenever you um, beat up on the Death Knight. Okay, Ash. It's actually a pretty good hit rate. Oh, that was tough. Yeah, we want to train him in axes. Requirement for the, of course, Wyvern Rider class, the best class in the game. And we'll have Dimitri, Dimitri pick at you. Well. Yeah, so I did want to make the Dimitri maybe go bow knight. So giving him this bow experience is really helpful early on. And of course, we'll do all of our tutoring off screen. How about you, Dudu? You haven't done that much recently, and you get doubled. Now, combat arts, I find, are, like, not useful. I don't want to say it all, but their use kind of... Oh, thanks, to do. They get a lot more useful in the higher difficulty than here in hard mode, but they're still fun. Forced to retreat. Okay, and last but not least, Professor Manuela. Hmm. Felix, and I'm just going to put you here. No one else is really hurt except Dimitri. Okay, I think Mercedes came with that training bow. Make use of it on our boy characters. Get this two range going. And move everyone up. I don't think Dimitri's gonna need a vulnerary. Good job, Felix. Now, who do we want to give the kill to? You're on three, 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 two. Mm. Let's see. Guess to do an Ash might want to take her on. Well, she will heal a bit. Okay. Perfect. So to do an Ash can finish her off, get some XP. Let's try the Lance. Why not? I must steal myself. Okay, and that's level 3 on most of our male units here in Blue Lines. I will do the skirmish. Now, in the next chapter between there, there is a fourth skirmish. I'm going to get Sylvain to do caught up here so we can all be on the same level. So I will see you for the next chapter. And Felix the MVP. Good job, Felix.